opening your lunch remnants. Father DiCangelo. Uh, how may I help you? Uh, there have been some accusations against one of the priests in our diocese. And you interrupted my lunch to tell me that. <laughs> well, sir, it's just that it's not the usual accusations. Well, how much worse can it be than all the other accusations these past few months? Well, it appears that Father Marsden has oh, been... Father Marsden? Not again. <laughs> this is a new wrinkle, sir. There are at least three families who claim that Father Marsden has eaten one or more of their children. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Eaten. <laughs> right. Well, I'll uh, I'll call around this afternoon. See if there isn't another parish we can have Father Marsden transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Father D'Angelo. Oh, and. Uh, would you have Dolores bring me some more wine on your way out? Sir, I, I don't think you understand the seriousness of these charges. You, do you think I'm an idiot, Father D'Angelo? I didn't get to be bishop by flipping flapjacks at pancake breakfast, you know. <laughs> of course not, Tremens. Do you think I have time to investigate every dubious charge of cannibalism against the church? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps not, but I, I don't think these charges are necessarily dubious. The bones of several children were found in Father Marston's garbage, and some of them had traces of barbecue sauce on them. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'll see to it that Father Marston gets some counseling. Uh, forgive me for being <laughs> presumptuous and pointing out there's a legal dimension to this sad affair. Father D'Angelo, I am in charge of all the affairs of this diocese, am I not? Of course, Your Eminence. Don't I have enough on my hands dealing with all these trumped-up molestation charges? Well, I just need to inform you that Father Marston... You may go! Father, Father Marston has been arrested. Father D'Angelo, I shall be dining tomorrow evening with the Chief of Police at a city fundraising dinner. And I will discreetly discuss this matter with him as I have previous charges against the church. Now will you please leave me in peace? Chief Bailey? That's right, Police Chief Bailey. I don't know how to tell you this, Germans, but Chief Bailey's son, Brian, is one of the children Father Marsden's been accused of eating. <laughs> what? It's true! <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> Bishop Bailey, why couldn't he stick to fondling the altar boys? No, he's got to go and eat them, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, Bishop, I'm the Police Chief's son at that. Do you have any idea how much bowing and scraping I'm going to have to do now to smooth things over with the chief? Do you? I believe there's more significant moral issue involved here. Uh, don't give me that significant moral issue crap. <laughs> oh, sure, it's, it's all so easy when you're just a, a humble parish priest, isn't it, Father? Why, you let a few unwed mothers cry on your shoulder and you... You bless a couple of dying old farts, and pretty soon you think the birds are twittering about your head like your St. Francis of Assisi. What do you know about dealing with the uh, police and the, the media, the, the politicians, the captains of industry? Well, I am responsible for all of the monsignors, priests, nuns, parishioners, all of the charities and organizations in this diocese. How do they expect me to keep track of who's eating who? <laughs> <laughs> do they write about any of the charity work we do? Or the outreach programs? <laughs> Not a line. But let some poor overworked brother slip up just once and eat some brat who's probably provoked him. <laughs> and they splash it all over the front pages. Pretty soon everyone's howling for blood. Why, it's anti-Catholic hysteria, I tell you. That's what's behind these accusations. Oh, but sir, it's, it's Catholics who are making these accusations. Oh, I do don't suppose we're the only church that's got a problem with cannibalism, do you? <laughs> you mean that? Well, the damn Protestants are feasting on their young like an episode of Wild Kingdom. <laughs> oh, and the Jews? What do you suppose they do with all those Christian babies after they've sacrificed them? Oh, but sir, aren't you engaging in the same kind of moral relativism that Pope is always railing against? Let me tell you something, Father. Moral relativism is when you engage in premarital sex or uh, vote for a pro-abortion candidate. Surely eating a child is far worse than... You're just not getting it, are you, Father? 
You see, you have the privilege of belonging to the one true church. The church that was founded in Rome by St. Peter himself under the exclusive authorization of our only Lord and Savior. Nobody ever said we were perfect. As churches go, we're to talk. Not perfect, though it's true. We've had our share of pedophiles and a cannibal or two. But judge us with the other face and we will surely win. Cause non-consensual boggery is just, just a vain sin. sin. <laughs> Holy eminence, oh what now shall we do? We'll transfer all the perverts down a diocese or two. So don't not hurt that baby, just send him to our schools. When he becomes an altar boy, I'll teach him all the rules. When he grows up and spills his guts, we'll pay his family off. The Pope will say a couple of prayers and tell.